NASA confirms 3I Atlas is not natural and the alien object now moving closer to Earth. Have you ever thought about what lies beyond our solar system? Astronomers found something strange in 2025. 3ITLAS, a cosmic comet that was leaving the Sun's shadow with a mysterious signal following behind it. What was that strange thing, though? Was it a piece of a comet, a cloud of dust, or something even stranger? Interested? Join with us as we look into this cosmic puzzle, test our ideas, and go deeper into the unknown. Don't miss this. Stay tuned. A mysterious entrance into the solar system. Think about looking up at the stars at night and seeing something new. A visitor from another star system. This is what happened on July 1st, 2025, when scientists found something very unusual. 3i slash a t l a s a comet from outside our solar system it wasn't the first time we'd seen a space traveler but this one was different it was different from everything we knew before the atlas asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system telescope in chile made the finding while keeping a close eye on the sky for possible dangers with their very strong tools Atlas saw something that wasn't in our solar system and was moving too fast to be an asteroid or comet. It was a comet, but it wasn't coming from near us. 3i, A T L, A S, was an interstellar comet, which means it came from another star and went through space. It was something no one had ever seen before. Soon, more strong telescopes joined to get a better look. It was also watched by the Gemini North Observatory in Hawaii and the ZTF, Zwicky Transient Facility, at Palomar Observatory as it flew through space. This strange comet flew through our galaxy, and everyone was looking at it. It was not only a rare event, but also a chance that would never come up again to study something from outside our solar system. But now things start to get interesting. When comets get close to the Sun, they are known to do strange things. As their cold cores warm up, they let out gas and dust that make a bright tail behind them. Scientists thought that 3i slash A T L A S would act like any other comet. Once it got close to the sun, it might get a little lighter, but then it would go out of sight as it went back into deep space. There was nothing strange. This comet, though, had other ideas. As 3i Atlas got closer to the sun, it went into a place where most comets disappear, the sun's harsh light. Like always, the experts thought they'd lose it for a while. Things tend to disappear when they move behind the sun after all. That's exactly what took place. 3 IATLAS was out of sight for a short time because the sun's light was too bright. It was planned. What wasn't expected, though, was what happened when it came back. When 3 IATLAS came out from behind the sun's light, the readings showed something strange. A signal that wasn't there before, something that wasn't predicted. A comet tail or a burst of gas from the comet wasn't what it looked like. Not like that. This was different. As 3 IATLAS came out of the sun's shade, it looked like something was following it. It wasn't just a small error in the data. It was something real and important that experts couldn't ignore it. At first, everyone didn't understand. Was it just a mistake in the data? A mistake that the tools made? It could be something much bigger, though. Maybe there is something behind 3i slash A T L A S that no one thought would be there. It didn't take long for scientists to start comparing notes from different telescopes. The fact that the ZTF, Gemini North, and A T L A S all picked up on the same signal proved that this wasn't a mistake. But what was it? Things got more exciting and confusing. We have seen things like 3IATLAS in space before, and they didn't leave us with a puzzle. It was new. This was different. That's when the real questions came up. What came after 3IATLAS when it came out of the sun's shadow? It looked like a piece of the comet, but it could have been something even stranger. Was this just a trick of the light, or was there something new to find? As we get closer to the next part of the study, the mystery grows. In the next part, we'll talk about the different ideas scientists have put forward to explain what might have happened after 3IATLAS 
and why no one can agree on what it is. A new signal emerges as 3I-ATLAS slowly moved away from the sun's light. Scientists were looking forward to seeing it again. They thought the comet would just come out from behind the sun like all the others. But instead, something strange took place. When the comet came back, scientists saw a strange, faint trail behind it that looked like a shadow. It wasn't the normal tail of gas and dust from a comet, and it shouldn't have been there. Some of the best experts in the world were interested in this faint trailing feature. What's strange? It wasn't a small mistake or glitch. There was a clear signal, a noise that went across several frames of data, showing that whatever it was, it wasn't a one-time thing. The strange thing seemed to follow the comet's exact path, like a mystery friend following behind it. The fact that the signal wasn't coming from just one device made it even stranger. Atlas, ZTF at Palomar, and Gemini North were among the observatories that separately recorded the same strange feature. Several advanced systems were picking up on the same mistake, so it wasn't just a random one. During the trip of the 3I-ATLAS, these powerful telescopes all picked up on the same faint signal. It showed up just after the comet came out of the sun's shadow. Scientists first thought it might have been a mistake in the very big picture. All the information seemed to fit together, though, and each telescope reported the same strange signal. This made people start to wonder. What was going on? Could this weak signal really have come from something that followed 3IATLAS out of the sun's shadow? The first thing the experts did was look into the facts more deeply. It became clear to them that this wasn't a chance event. The signal showed up exactly when it was supposed to, right after the comet came back into view, and it didn't go away after a few frames. It was locked in time and showed up in several sets of data, which made people suspicious. Could it be something important? Either something that was a part of 3IATLAS, or something else? It was then time to compare the data to all the known things that could happen in space. This might have been a normal artifact caused by cosmic rays, lines from satellites, or space junk. That's what usually happens when a telescope picks up strange sounds, and it's not hard to explain away. But the strange thing didn't fit any trends that were known. It wasn't only noise. It happened over and over again on different instruments, so it was important to pay attention to. From NASA's JPL, to the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter team, mission teams from all over the world started to look over the data for any possible reason. Could this be a brand new event that no one has ever seen before? Or was it just a coincidence? A mistake in the data? Or something that was there all along but no one had seen? Even though there were many checks and attempts to say it was just a coincidence, the signal kept showing up. No one could understand it, and the strange thing in the data stood out like a puzzle. They couldn't say they had made a definitive finding, but it was too strange to ignore. After that, there was a mix of joy and doubt. The mystery grew as no one could agree on what this faint trait really was. The signal didn't match anything that comets have done in the past. It didn't match any of the normal cosmic interference or artifacts. The questions wouldn't stop coming because it was too strange to ignore. Researchers were aware that they would need to look deeper into the data in order to discover the truth. But since there was no clear answer, the question stayed. What had followed 3IATLAS out of the sun's shadow? The story gets more complicated. We'll talk about the theories scientists came up with as they tried to figure out what was going on in the next part. It could have been a piece of 3IATLAS, a cloud of dust or something even weird. There are many ideas, but no one knows the truth yet. Stay tuned to find out what comes next in this puzzle about space. What are followed 3 I, A T L A S. Scientists were still not sure what the strange signal from 3 I slash A T L A S's re-emergence meant. Nobody knew what had come after the comet as it came out of the sun's shade. Was it just a piece, or was it something much stranger? Scientists started to come up with different ideas as they looked deeper into the data. Each idea had a different way of understanding the strange event. 
a quick thought spread that the strange thing might have been a piece of 3i-slash-ATLAS. It was thought that the comet might have broken up when it got so close to the sun and was under so much pressure and heat. This piece, which could have been a small piece, could have been thrown off by the sun and shown up again right behind the main body of the comet. This thought makes sense when you think about how comets move. When comets get close to the sun, they get hotter. The ice and gas inside them melt, which can sometimes break the comet up. They think that the weak signal they picked up could have come from the comet's pieces that broke off. After all, it's been done with other comets before. This time, though, the piece wasn't just seen as a dust trail, it was seen as a weak point. Could you not see this piece the old way because it was too small or too faint? That was the real question. Another reason could be the dust plume idea. This next thing wasn't even a comet piece. It was a dust plume, which is a cloud of little pieces that the comet threw out as it got close to the sun. It's likely that when 3i slash ATLAS came back out from behind the sun, it heated up the comet's explosive parts, letting them fly into space as dust and gas. This cloud of dust and dirt may have been thrown off the comet's surface and followed it. Some of the particles may have quickly caught the sun's light as they spread out. This is what caused the weak signal in the data. This idea is backed up by the fact that the signal didn't last long. It looks like the particles were lit up for just long enough to see before they spread out. The idea of a dust trail helps explain why the signal wasn't as strong or steady as a comet's tail. It quickly went away instead, like a cloud of particles would if they were spread out in space very quickly. Some people were still not sure, even though the thoughts were very strong. Some experts said the weak signal might not have come from a dust plume or a piece of a comet at all. It could have been an artifact, a mistake caused by cosmic rays, a glitch in the device, or something else wrong with the gear. Astrophysicists need a lot of tools, and sometimes even the best ones get things wrong. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles from space that can easily mess up readings and send out signs that don't make sense. That's also true when there are issues with the computers that cause the data to display in a strange way. Some people didn't believe that the strange thing seen after the 3i slash ATLAS was real. They thought it might have been an illusion created by the instruments. This idea might explain why the signal was weak and didn't last long, but it doesn't explain why many telescopes, like ATLA, S, ZTF, and Gemini North, saw the same strange thing. It looked like it happened on more than one instrument, which made it harder to think it was just a mistake. One thing became clear as the ideas grew. 3. IATLAS had really changed the way we think about the universe. But there was one more thing to learn. How the weak signal worked. What was it? A piece? A cloud of dust? Or something else? That's when things really start to get weird. Sifting through the evidence. After the strange signal following 3i, A, T, L, A, S came out, astronomers turned their attention to the spectral data, which was a key piece of proof. A short but interesting green flash showed up in the light spectrum as the comet came out from behind the sun. Even though it was short, this green flash was not like comets usually behave. What made it more interesting was the weak sign of diatomic carbon, or maybe CO+, two molecules that are often found on comets, especially when they're releasing gas. This sudden warning made it more likely that something strange was going on, something different from what we've seen comets do before. But this is where things got tricky. Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope, and SOHO, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, which are all built to pick up these signals, all saw the strange thing but none of them could say for sure that it was real. Why? These high-tech cameras are made to pick up even the faintest signals from faraway objects. But it's not easy to figure out what those signals mean. Even though the green flash was very noticeable, it wasn't strong or clear enough to be sure that it was caused by a certain chemical emission. The instruments could consistently pick it up, but it was just on the edge of what they could see. 
Because of this, scientists couldn't say for sure that chemicals like CO2 or C2 made the green flash. It made them wonder more than it answered. Space agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency ESA, started to check the data over and over again with their powerful tools as the mystery grew. The brief, strange event that each observer saw was the same, but it wasn't strong enough to say for sure what it was. Even so, the fact that the signal was the same on a lot of different tools showed that there was something real going on that needed to be studied more. The green flash became a sign of this lack of clarity. It was a strange event that didn't follow the usual patterns of cometary activity. Comets usually have a bright tail as they get close to the sun, but this green flash, which only lasted a second, didn't look like a comet. Not only was it a comet tail, but it was also a treasure. It was a short, strange flash that could help us figure out what really happened after three IATLAS came out of the sun's shade. But the green flash mystery hasn't been answered yet. The unanswered questions. Important things have been found with Gemini North, Hubble, and the James Webb Space Telescope, but the strange signal from 3I-ATLAS still hasn't been explained. What was really going on behind the comet was so complicated that even our most powerful tools were not able to fully explain it to us. These telescopes can see very far into space and pick up even the faintest signs. They all saw the same strange thing. They had the most advanced technology, but they still couldn't quite get the signal. It wasn't strong enough, was too short, and didn't make sense. This shows the issues with the way things are now. The power of these tools is great, but they can only teach us so much. They make us wonder about things we don't fully understand. What does this strange event mean for the world as a whole? Following 3I-ATLAS could send a signal from something real, which could make scientists rethink what they think they know about how comets act. Comets are usually easy to find because they leave behind tails, gas, and a clear path of dust and rocks. It's the first time scientists have ever seen something so new and faint. It looks like something is up there that isn't a comet. It could be something we haven't seen before, or even a new group of objects. Something brand new could be out there, and it might change the way we think about comets and other things in the space between the stars as they pass by our solar system. The research into 3I-ATLAS is not over yet, because the puzzle keeps growing. It's still being looked over by astronomers over and over to find new clues that might help them figure out what's going on. As 3IATLAS moves through other parts of the solar system, more observations will be made. These might give you more clues that will help you solve the puzzle. As time goes on and technology gets better, stronger lenses will be able to see things more clearly. We don't know what came after the comet yet, though. As before, scientists are amazed and interested in this strange event. They don't know if it is a real discovery or just a cosmic false alarm. And that's it for today's Cosmic Mystery. If you enjoyed the journey, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the next video popping up on your screen for more.